generative AI tools like ChatGPT, Grammarly, or even image and video generators are becoming more common in classrooms and at home. They're fast, creative, and convenient. But here's the challenge. How do we make sure students are using these tools to learn, not just to complete a task? AI is a tool. And just like a calculator or a dictionary, it works best when students know how and when to use it. So, what does responsible AI use look like? It might mean asking a tool to explain a math concept, but then solving the problem yourself. It might mean using AI to brainstorm an essay outline, but writing the final draft in your own voice. Responsible use starts with asking thoughtful questions like, what do I need help with? Is this answer correct? Does this sound like me? For parents and teachers, the focus should be less on blocking AI and more on building metacognition, the ability to think about your own thinking. Try asking your child or student, did you understand the answer you got? Could you explain it to someone else? If you disagree, how would you change it? In schools, educators are beginning to shift assessments to reflect this reality. That might include open-ended questions, oral reflections, and assignments that ask students to share their learning journey, not just a polished product. When we treat AI like a teammate, not a replacement, we help kids build confidence, independence, and creativity. Encourage curiosity. AI can spark new ideas, but only your child can turn those ideas into meaningful learning. Thanks for joining us. Subscribe to Twinkle Teaching Resources USA for more videos.